start with, I must say that uh, Pitch Talk clearly has a lot of confidence uh, in me that, uh, you know, 45 minutes after that sumptuous lunch, I'm expected to keep you engaged and entertained just when your uh, snooze button might be naturally kicking in. Uh, but it's always a challenge, uh, post-lunch sessions, especially the longer they, uh, di they're distant from the lunch. But luckily for me, I have with me uh, Mr. Dubey as, uh, you know, and he, apart from, you know, the, the Dabba legacy that he represents, he's also had this unique distinction of uh, spending his entire career with the same company so far. Uh, it's not something many of the youngsters here might know about. You know, job hopping is something that is, uh, you know, almost an inherent trait for Gen Z. I joined the company the day it was founded in 1884. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's how old I am. Yeah. So I think uh, also unique for us, especially because I see a lot of youngsters here who might not know how the media landscape was, say, about two decades ago. Uh, when Mr. Dubey started his career, uh, they, you know, let's probably give them an oversight of how media buying, planning, and assessment of outcomes has changed over the two decades uh, that you've been in the business and where we find ourselves uh, today. So, you know, biggest change I find is that, you know, when I started working, there were no mobile phones, you know. So, if you went to a conference like this, people would be looking at you, not looking at their phones, like the way people are looking at their phones right now, you know. Uh, so, it's like, be a little kind to us, just wait for 19 minutes and then you look at the phones, you know, then you'll do justice to us sitting on the stage and to yourselves as well because, you know, you've made an effort to be here. Thank you so much. So, when I started working, uh, uh, there was just one uh, uh, screen in front of people, which was TV screen and TV was not as penetrated as it is today. It was uh, uh, a kind of... Uh, we hardly had like 10 million households even like uh, in the country uh, which were, which had TV. What actually uh, started the uh, TV penetration was the uh, cable and satellite which came to India in, in 1990s, early 90s. And uh, then the Hindi TV channels came and we would start watching uh, uh, content over there. And from there, you know, the evolution from there moved to smartphones when smartphones were launched in mid uh, 2000s and uh, uh, then advent of web 2 from web 2 to uh, uh, proliferation of uh, ott channels then you know your tv uh, becoming more capable in terms of receiving the internet signals and becoming uh, picking up ott uh, so from one person from entire nation was like one target audience for everybody right so from there to everybody is can be targeted separately. So, that's been a massive change uh, and multi-screens and uh, it's become very difficult to uh, reach out to people now. When I started working, I was uh, told, in fact, the Pepsi told us that, you know, we are Generation X. So, you and me belong to Generation X. <laughs> then came Generation Y of Millennial and, you know, then uh, Gen Z and now even tougher generation is uh, Zen Alpha. And Zen Alpha, uh, we don't know much about them yet. But as we get to know them, I mean, it'll be most difficult uh, generation to target going forward. So targeting is one issue. Uh, reaching out to people is another issue. Multiple screens, uh, getting everybody together and having a personalized communication to people. Right. So these are the uh, things which have changed over the period. In terms of your media mix and your, you know, preferred media mix, it would have been 20 years ago, you know, certain amount for newspapers, certain for TV, and certain for, you know, outdoor and other advertising. How has that sort of mix altered uh, in the last decade or so? So, you know, so like uh, Dabur as a brand has been present in more than 75% households in the country. So, if uh, you were to look at the total number of households in the country, they're like about 31 crore households, right? Out of that, will be there in about 75 to 80 percent households. Uh, so, for us to reach out to masses has been very important. And uh, television has served as a uh, single source of uh, uh, medium, which has been very uh, useful for us. And then, uh, of course, print. Uh, so, that's how it was. 
divided earlier. Uh, now, uh, in in recent times, last five years, uh, penetration of digital has gone multifolds. Uh, so, instead of targeting people as per medium, you target people as per their behaviors. So, we started targeting people as per their behavior, the way they use their time in the day, and then you target. So, uh, so that's how it's moved. So, it's more behavior and consumption-based uh, targeting nowadays. So, I mean, that's the challenge we face in the newspaper industry also, like a traditional uh, media, which is trying to cope up with the new way news is consumed by the next generation. Uh, even if you look at uh, 10 years ago, what, uh, what role Facebook had in many teenagers' lives. I mean, I see in my 12-year-old absolutely no interest in Facebook, Instagram, what they're more, you know, spending a lot of time on Roblox and Discord and what have you. Uh, so, how do you uh, sort of uh, navigate this uncertainty? Because yeah, in fact, uh, so I have a similar example about uh, my son, you know, when my, my son is 23 now, when he was 10 years old, he opened a Facebook account uh, saying that he was 13. And by the time he was 13, he was out of Facebook, you know. So, uh, so, so the thing is that, you know, it's become medium for older people and I think more and more it's becoming a more of a data company, you know. Uh, you get a lot of information about uh, your own products from your uh, uh, own first party data you collect, then you marry that data with the metadata and then you try to make cohorts and try to understand the consumers about their uh, media habits, etc. Uh, so, so that's been, uh, that's been a major change and uh, what was the second part of the question, sorry? No, I want to, so how do you yeah. sort of navigate? So navigating, navigating through this, so, so the, I think uh, one will be able to navigate only when, you know, you have a clear information about your consumers, you know, so first of all, so the first party data helps you uh, get that information uh, about consumers, then you do cross tab along with uh, other mediums and then try to see how well you can use that data. Um, a lot of shopper data is not available, for example, you don't get to uh, know that whether the same consumer is getting cross, tab cross tabbed into say Amazon or something, but your own D2C helps you understand your consumers better. So, so that's how you're trying to, every day is a new day, every day new technology comes and every day, you know, you get to uh, learn something new. So currently that's what is happening. I mean, consumer has always been in focus and will remain the focus. Now it's very easy to understand their behaviors in a much better way. So, uh, so that's been a major uh, difference. The learning curve for all of us, I guess. Absolutely. So, you know, given that, you know, Dabur has, like you highlighted, 80% presence in Indian households, and uh, therefore, it needs more mass uh, media approach. And traditionally, like you said, TV has been a key part, uh, part of that. With the emergence of connected TV and, you know, OTTs and, you know, what have you, how do you sort of, uh, you know, f uh, view that phenomenon and how would you sort of approach your uh, marketing strategy for those platforms? Uh, you know, I will uh, break down TV industry for you first, you know, so that you can appreciate where connected TV stands, you know. So roughly there are about uh, 31 crore households in the country, out of that 21 crore have TV. So give or take a few uh, here and there, uh, because we haven't had a baseline study on TV for a while. So out of that, so this TV audience now can be divided into seven different types of TV homes, you know. So I will just count uh, while I'm talking to you, I'm trying to uh, think through this. So first is the First household is a Doodarshan household, which does not have any uh, cable or anything like that. Just simple antenna, TV antenna, a normal TV, black and white TV perhaps, has capability to receive a TV signal. Uh, that's one type of household. Second type of household is the cable household, which gets uh, a connection of TV through cable. A physical cable comes to the house, you and you watch it. Third type of household is uh, the pay TV household, which is the... Um, somebody who has a dish antenna, uh, like uh, uh, Tata Sky or Airtel, etc. That's the fourth type of household. Fifth type of household is uh, somebody who is a free-to-air channel, uh, uh, dish antenna, which is a do, do dish and free dish antenna, which is right. a fourth type. The fifth type is somebody who had TV okay. and is disconnected TV and has got some kind of internet TV. Okay. It's called disconnected household. <laughs> now the sixth type is, is some, somebody who never had TV. Right. So, so the fifth one is, one is called cutter, 
the sixth one is uh, god never never <laughs> and there's another type of household is called connected tv which is a uh, nothing but ctv or say confused tv so now this confused tv has uh, tv signal coming into it through cable or right or say uh, any dish it has internet as well so somebody who's trying to sell you connected tv will tell you that you know this guy who has everything is watching only my content only youtube is the person is watching only youtube whereas somebody who's selling tv to you is will tell you that you know uh, that person is lost and probably he's got too much of choices but still i have a chance of uh, getting viewed over there then uh, uh, there are ott channels which are also present in the same uh, kind of uh, framework uh, although you know with so much of uh, uh, capable tv or say connected tv today uh the number is very high like if you add up all the numbers of tvs which have been sold by samsung by xiaomi by other oem players the number will be very very high uh but the real uh, numbers which is uh, which gets reported are about 35 million uh, so I, i would say about 100 million would have capability to receive digital signals 35 million are connected out of that say if you break it down further go down to say netflix go to amazon prime go to say hotstar then those numbers keep going down uh the only number which is high is like perhaps hotstar is one of the highest penetrated and uh, because of cricket other because of uh, entertainment or probably cost of sub- subscription people don't uh, which people in this country don't want to pay for subscription they want everything for free so whatever coming for free is viewed more so hence chances of uh, youtube getting watched is much higher hotstar free content gets viewed much more and and so on and so forth like uh, netflix would be less than 10 million and hotstar would be like more than 20 30 million uh, youtube will be about 47 million all devices put together so that's how so so this ecosystem becomes slightly confusing for advertisers to focus on so uh, when a mass marketing company like ours when we have to go and sell our products we have to look at we have to look at all these aspects then we look at uh, where the viewers are where where are my audience and then take a decision and not base everything on one medium only so it's a more well, it was a long answer but yeah but that requires a lot more uh, monitoring across multiple uh, things to arrive at a decision uh, coming from the uh, you know traditional media and of course representing the hindu i wanted to get your sense of how uh, you know because it's the oldest in this whole category of media mix uh, that you would look yeah. at how do you see newspapers role going forward also especially if you look at the prol- proliferation of regional tv and regional newspapers when you want to target uh, specific states in the country for instance so you know uh, if you look at the regional uh, if you look at uh, four southern markets for example four southern markets are have very high penetration of uh, uh, television over 90% or has highest literacy rates right uh, so their regional television is very strong regional newspapers are very strong look at inadu look at hindu look at uh, deccan herald deccan chronicle uh, vijay karnataka all these newspapers are very strong in their respect of malara maruma and and the other groups so the, all, every newspaper is very strong in that uh, uh, pocket and these newspapers have not lost their grip they they remain very strong in the respect, respective markets so have the tv channels look at the tv viewership despite so much of uh, say uh, penetration of digital and so and everything else the penetration uh, the tv channels have are performing as well as they did earlier even the newspapers the post pandemic uh, circulation i would say that the drop has not been as much as significant as it has been in metros for most of the other papers regional newspapers have survived they have done very well uh so all the regional markets look at four southern markets then two in the corner west bengal maharashtra and then two more which is say orissa punjab so this makes it about eight markets which are very unique and and very important markets uh which which become media isolatable you can target people in those markets separately so these markets in terms of language in terms of uh, television in terms of uh, even newspapers you know uh, they 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 give you very s- segregated kind of uh, audiences, audiences to, target. to target yeah so uh, you know i would of course 
have a lot of questions, but I thought maybe given your wealth of experience, perhaps we could open the floor for a couple of questions. If uh, any of you uh, would like to get a sense of how the media landscape, especially media marketing and uh, metrics, measurement of audience metrics is evolving. The floor is now open for questions and answers. In case you have any questions related to this particular session, kindly raise your hands. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, sir. My name is Samir Vardhaj. I would like to know, in the older days, there has to be, for TV media, there used to be Nielsen ratings, so you got a, a precise idea, sort of. No, there the, was no Nielsen. It was called Bark. Uh, sorry, it was called IMRB rating. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. IMRB. Yeah. And uh, so there was a concrete sort of uh, idea of your uh, database sort of. And the online, when you talk about the online, it's more of uh, fabricated sort of bots and also how do you differentiate from that? Actually, it's not, nothing is fabricated, I would say. Uh, so that bot traffic which you talk about is perhaps something else, you know, it's a, it's a different sphere. Uh, how you targeted people on television is different because you know you are basically targeting everybody when you're, you're targeting to television when you target people on uh, through digital you're, you're targeting people as per their behaviors and you know everybody is getting targeted separately and third part was about the bot traffic which is a separate discussion for uh, uh, this thing you know so uh, when you target people on digital on youtube or something you're actually targeting people you're not targeting bots and uh, if some people do target bots as well, but you know, uh, not us. I mean, we target real people who will go and buy our products. Thanks. If I could uh, sneak in one last question uh, just to get a sense from you. Uh, if there are no further questions from the audience. Uh, do we have any further questions? Another one from, could you take a few steps forward? Thank you. Hello, sir. I have a question that how do you feel, a uh, channel specific question, that how would you target consumers who are shopping on quick commerce, uh, you know, build your brand on quick commerce? Yeah, so in fact, quick commerce is one of the fastest growing uh, platforms for us. And uh, how do you target them is, you know, first of all, advertising on those platforms, doing, working along with those platforms and uh, they give you ample opportunity to be present first of all, you know, and get listed, and then you work along with uh, their teams and uh, and and you know uh, make products available in their all the doc stores and and sell it. So uh, it's it's like a, uh, I mean it's more you're, you're targeting directly to people who are out there shopping, you know. So it's much easier than what other uh, uh, mediums and platforms offer you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much. I think we could possibly go on for a bit, but we have a time constraint. So we hope to see you again at one of these platforms, Mr. Dubey, and uh, I look forward. I'd like to thank you for your time, for your...